Howdy all, this is Texas Giving Industries here, and welcome back to another episode of my Let's Play Transport Fever 2 Very Mode Edition. In the previous episode, we did a couple of works done, as well as basically setting up a new train to basically take care of foodstuffs. Oh, and we got ourselves a new piece of equipment, the right streetcar trolley. And in this episode, we're going to basically, basically continue on with our operations. Though one of the things I mentioned to take care of myself is the replacement of this track here. As much as this line is useful, the switch going into it has been a little too short. Because of that, I'm actually going to be extending the tracks out quite a bit so there will be plenty of room. Of course, I'm removing the catenary because I don't need it. And then basically finish this four track section off. Oh, this bridge. Ugh. Not what I was expecting, but at least the roadway nearby basically makes it a lot easier cars to get to where they need to go, I'll be it with this crossing in the way, which I'm hoping is set properly. Yes, it is. Alright, now let's just basically prepare this bridge. Do that and then just use the smooth tool just to make it a little more neater. And there we go, that should fix it. Though I am going to add a new set of signals here, just before the switches. So, all the trains will basically not have to worry about trains getting stuck in the middle of the junction. Let's basically add some double aspects to these tracks here. Single axe backs here. And there we go. Now all the trains can finally get to where they need to go and not block the entirety of the main line. Alright. With that out of the way, let's basically have a look at what else needs to be done on the railroad. Or at least not fix up my transportation systems. There's some trains waiting at the station because some of these trains are blocking the switches and the junction because there's some trains trying to get to where they need to go. Let's see. Yeah, that's where I this uh, problem lies, because there's a train blocking this switch. There we go. Hopefully this will fix it. That fixed, my trains can now be on the move again. And hopefully it won't take forever for this entire junction to be cleared up. Though I have yet to set a passenger service to use this line. Maybe I might eventually set up a new service that will basically travel along the scenic route. 
Actually, why don't we actually get that started right now? That is, if this depot will allow my train to access the main and not go to it, the final destination. Let's see. We're gonna get the Genesis, of course. And we're gonna use the West Rail Fleet. Four hundred and twenty passengers, but this will be a new express service that will travel from Javaberg all the way down to Black Diamond City. <sighs> Just a small little pr problem results in all my trains getting stuck. Well, hopefully now passenger trains will have to use that. Speaking of which, I might as well check the bus check something. I know we got the right streetcar, and I'm not so sure if that's a bus or a trolley. Could I have a look? If it's gonna be a bus, I can easily replace these buses with something a bit more modern. Let's see. Yes, the right streetcar. It's an articulated bus carrying 52 passengers. Compared to the New Haven, uh, new, not New Haven, the new Flyer D40, which can only carry about 36. The Orion 2s could carry some extras, but I think this will probably be a much better option. Put those new buses in place. Let's basically just set up a new route. Let's see. First of all, we'll need to pick up passengers here at Granite City. Well, not that, I mean, Javaberg. And it will probably go on either track... Probably go on track 3 or on track 4 if needed. We'll go to Greenwood. <sighs> Sorry for the lag. My computer is trying to process all of this. Longhorn? Actually, no. It'll bypass Jaffa Berg. No, wait, not Jaffa Berg. Longhorn travel on this mainline route instead. Uh, not to Pine Valley, because... That service is already being taken care of by another train. Computer, let me just do my thing, for God's sake. Uh, 
I'm hoping to eventually upgrade my computer's graphics card or something to keep the game from, like, being as slow as molasses. It'll go for Riverside. Then to Black Diamond Central Station. We'll travel onto track 4, but if not available, it will go on track 3. It will have a red color, as usual, for all my express trains. Go back to Riverside on track 3. Go for the next signal. There we go. Now the express train will be fully on the special express line that goes around the freight trains. Let's see. Back to Greenwood. Then just add it in and put it on track one. Let's see, which express train number should it be? Let's see, express train J. So this will be express train K, Java Berg to Black Diamond City. Oh. Hmm. Let's try this. That works. GW GWD for Greenwood. Let's see. Where's that train? Oh, it's it basically has to go the long way around. How joyous. That's the last time I ever assigned trains out of that building, out of that engine facility. But at least, however, with all the trains now finally getting out, they can finally at least start making some money again. Wait. Oh, right, this coffee bean train. Uh. Well, I'm not so sure. This train's supposed to carry coffee beans to be processed. Uh. I think it would be wiser if the coffee train went a different route instead. Because I think if it goes this way and then back this way, it won't have to worry about going through the mainline junction. Is there any other trains that are going to go through there? No. Thank goodness. So that's the last train that just needs to go through that way. Of course, I gotta get this signal back into operate. This line back into operation with a signal. There we go. Hopefully this time there'll be no more trouble with the mainline trains. Well, my bauxite train has yet to arrive. Where is it? It's 
waiting for a path at Longhorn Central. And the other one, the newest one, is currently going to pick it up at the court at the mine in Richland South. Ugh. I would speed this game up, but somehow the game does not like to speed things up after. But, despite that though, I think we basically got that whole situation with everything to take care of. Although, I'm hoping, at least, that these trains can now finally get to where they need to go without any delay. But, I have a feeling that it's going to cause trouble. I can build a great empire, yes, but my logistics might need to be improved. That might come someday, but I'm not so sure. But, at least though, now most of the freight trains that are going through this area are not going to be going through this track. Oh wait, there's some city-bound freight trains using this line instead. Is there any ones that I could... I think I might have to reallocate those freight trains onto this line instead. But I'm not so sure which ones are which. That's for meat. And f that's for meat. Uh, let's see. Food, maybe? No, food is not that. It's supposed to be a finished product. Those lines basically mean that those products are finished products. And. Why is some of the freight trains not using this track? But at least I could use this line to see on which lines are being used. At least the fish train is making its way there now. Uh, let's see. Tools. Ah, this is one of those. Tr this is one of the freight trains that's going to go through the middle of the station. So don't need to worry about that. Oh, this train of fuel. So it needs to go onto this line. So can it just also basically go through maybe this track instead? All freight trains have to use this track, and then basically back this way. There. Now the fuel train can easily access this line. Is there any other freight trains that... Ugh, there's so many more freight trains that use this track. I'm hoping by the end of this game we can finally get all that taken care of, so no freight trains basically get stuck. Let's see, tobacco. Uh, that train service is heading to be used at a. Uh, I think. Yeah, it's heading to the cigar factory. I think it's okay where it is. What about this one? That's for processed steel. That's for steel. That's a processed commodity. Uh, what about slag? It's going on to the other line. Uh, grain? No. Uh, bottled liquor? That's fine, too. Jeez. Uh, slag? It's going on to those two rails, so it's okay. I already clicked on that train already. Let's see. Uh, processed products, copper. That's not a train that's going that way. Let's see. Maybe that freight train of lubricants might be the one. Let's see. No. That train is going through that freight junction there. So, if that's not going to be it, let me see. 
Foodstuffs is going the same way. Cigars is coming from that side. War materials. Uh, it's going through that way. So it has to be a freight service that's going through this area to reach one of these towns in the western part of the map. Or whatever direction it is. Because there is no such thing as a compass in this game for some darn reason. I don't know why. So there are four services. Bottled liquors, war materials, lubricants, and silverware. Oh, there's also the possibility of freight traveling, and it's not that either. Seriously, what kind of freight train basically goes through this area? Ugh. Bottled liquor is going this way. War material is going through the middle. It's going near the war materials plant, so it's not supposed to go that way. The lubricants are coming from this branch. Silverware is coming down from, well, the silver, that track that's basically clear for that train. Uh, I guess I'll have to wait and see when that train comes through, I guess. The, uh, let me think. Well, at least the asphalt train is making its way to its destination now. Jeez, with the lack of coffee berries, it's starting to get too much. Where is that train of coffee berries anyway? Oh, it's heading through whiskey. I'll probably might have to, uh... I think I might have to clone this train if I'm gonna keep up with my coffee production. Although the fish train has finally arrived, there's no livestock. Now, I think because of there's so much livestock, I think I might have to actually set up another service to service that industry. I mean, it's not going to be efficient, but at least, however, it'll allow more livestock to be delivered to that meatpacking plant. Let's see. Uh... All I know is I might have to actually double track this into the industry and that is fine Cross over the main on the passenger line. And then I'll just simply curve the track near the cattle ranch. We'll place that down and then just. Add some signals to the branch. I think it would be best if I add the signals to this instead and remove the old war signal. And at the same time, get rid of this double slip switch since I'm not going to be using it anymore. Just replace this signal with a double aspect with a junction. And basically, that's pretty much it for this episode. I know we didn't get a lot of stuff done, but we do have a new express as well as some upgrading the track to the cattle ranch. As well as reorganizing some trains to use some proper lines. So with that, I think we'll basically end this episode. So if you had enjoyed this episode of Let's Play Transport Fever 2, please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to Texas Gaming Industries for new video uploads every Friday or Saturday, depending on my outside schedule. And as always, thank you very much for watching.
and I will see you all in the next episode. If the game will let me get to a good spot to finish the episode. Without it crashing, thank you very much. Maybe it's kind of time to kind of also do some mods that I'm not using. But other than that, I will see you all next time. Yeah, I'll see you all next time. Bye!